Howdy y'all, welcome back to Rigs Indoors. We're back with Spintized Motor Runner. We are on uh, Frog's Clark's Vegas map, uh, which, as he describes in the uh, description on the Steam Workshop, which I will link to in the, down below, beautiful map with lots of great sites, made to be more of an exploration and scenic map with chill trails. Great for cruising around and having some fun. You don't have to follow the trails, you can just drive wherever you want and make your own trails if you want as there's no boring geometry to be found here. Now, when I think of a good trailing map, I think of, it's a regular trailing map, and I wanna, when I wanna do some trailing, I wanna take an FJ40, a Suburban, and a Jeep. <laughs> uh, the Suburban's a little bit out of place, I think. Uh, now, I have driven both the FJ40 and the Jeep before. Uh, both actually are in the original spin tires. But this Suburban, I can't remember who made it. I love Chevy. I love Suburbans. I have a 2001 Suburban. So I figured, why not? So this map is not fully complete. It is released on the Steam Workshop, however. And when we... Uh, if, if this video can get up to, I would say... We'll, We'll, we'll be conservative here. We'll, we'll say 20 likes on this video. Ah, heck. We'll double that. Make it 40 likes on this video. Uh, when it's complete, I will talk to Froggy about uh, coming on and showing me the rest of this map. For y'all. And maybe we'll throw in a subscriber, but that's for uh, him and I decide, and we'll let you know closer to that date. Anyway, let's uh, check out the map here. Now, no cloaking points. Oh, that's cool. Now, this reminds me a bit of a... Well, just with that high of a bridge, it reminds me of a, a map in the original spin tires. I can't re remember what it was called, but I got a great screenshot from it. If I can uh, dig up that map, I will show y'all. So, uh, what I'm thinking with the uh, channel is, uh, on Tuesdays, I was going to do uh, Transport Tuesdays with Transport Fever. And, unfortunately, well, I don't know. I, I was just kind of not sure how well it was going to go. So, if you guys want to see more spin tires, I might have to put up a vote. And if I'm going to do that, I'm going to be throwing it on the uh, Facebook page, or Facebook page. And y'all can vote on there. Uh, there is a link down below in the description. And this truck is a little loud for me. Wow. Couldn't believe how loud that truck was. Now one of the things I love doing with the FJ40 is uh, what, do what I call the FJ40 Challenge. And that's went on an end-to-end -end map. So if y'all remember back in the original spin tires, uh, Siberian Trails, I think it was called. It was literally uh, one road from one end to the other, very long. And I actually completed that map end-to-end -end with uh, this vehicle. It was long going, and I did actually do some YouTube testing with that two years ago. Um, yeah, I know, right? I'm just getting started and I've been testing for two years. What's wrong with me? No, I just didn't have the right equipment for me to actually record. So, uh, now's the time and now we're going. But I do love the FJ40. It's just so simple. And it's great for just cruising and checking out the views seeing what's all out there. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Now, sometimes you get up to those obstacles where it just ain't gonna work. Hmm. So if we turn here, it's kind of cool. Oh, wow, we're kind of heading towards that. I want to see... Yeah, I want to see uh, what, this, what that is. Oh, wow, it's a really 
high up bridge. Now, I'm pretty sure I saw a trail. Yeah. Now, it looks like it might be one steep hill, but let's, uh, I don't know if this vehicle's got the, uh, the power to do that. Might have to throw it in high. Oh, I don't know. I don't know, guys. We're going to do it. Now, high, it ends up going so slow, but it's got a little bit more power. Wow, this is a steep. Oh, no. I hit the wrong button. I just want to see what this hill looks like. From my uh, interior. Oh wow, that is steep. I don't think we got the power, but I do not think we do. But we're going to try. And try and cheese. Oh boy. Not gonna make it. All right, we're gonna stop this one here. Let's uh, grab the JK 4.0. And we'll throw on a few things. Little mini Airstream bowler style trailer there. No, we don't want that. It does carry 250 uh, repair points though. You know what? Let's just see what it looks like. Yeah, we're gonna go camping. Okay, this trailer, bad idea. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna pull this off. We're gonna disconnect it and continue with this trek. Uh, but there is another trail that we can take coming out of the garage and I wanna see what all about this suburban. I think it was made by death. I'm not sure. Ah, oh, that looks better. Although, no, I like that. That's okay. So all wheels are always going to be on. And if like, we'll, we're going to throw on. Although, do we need it? Yeah, it makes a bit of a difference. Now, this map, I can't wait to see what it actually looks like. Now, earlier on today, I was actually online with Exo Froggy. Uh, who I've done a few maps about and a couple vehicle mods. Um, we were actually testing out one of his new trucks today. It is a Chevy. That's all the information I'm going to give you. And we will be getting it out and about. Now, it may not be on one of his maps. It might be on something different. But I think he's still got a few things left to do with it. And when it is fully operational and released on the uh, Steam Workshop, we are going to definitely check it out. I'm actually enjoying this Suburban. You don't see a lot of great Suburban mods out there. Like I think on the original spin tires, I've tried out a good 30 or 35 different Suburbans that I've seen. Uh, not all of them coming off the Steam Workshop. Uh, just very excited, a couple of Russian ones. Uh, you guys got to be very careful when you're going to the Russian uh, 
mod sites are because they hide those viruses pretty darn good. But Steam Workshop is most trustworthy and what I'm going to start doing is uh, putting together a collection for y'all that will be updated uh, from time to time if I do really enjoy a mod. Like for example, what would I give this on the rigs meter? Well, it depends on what, what I'm rating it for. Now if I'm just rating it for what it's doing right now and just driving down some trails, yeah I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5. It's a really great model, really well designed. and it handles pretty good but now I'm on a asphalt road and I would only give it a three three out of five just because of it should be going a little bit quicker but if I want to see how it does in the water let's see how it does out right here now it's a little slow on the shift and I will admit But it's handling in there pretty well. Okay, we need a snorkel. This truck needs a snorkel. Could use a little bit better traction, I think, on the tires. Um, considering those tires are pretty grippy looking, they should have had no problem on that hill. I was uh, drifting it a bit. got a great clearance like they, they did a great job on making this look realistic and I kind of laugh on the inside considering what I was doing about an hour ago yeah XO Froggy you're probably laughing after I said that you know what I'm, what I'm talking about yeah that big thing which Y'all will get to see. I don't know if I'll be uh, doing a full video on it or nothing, but uh, hey. Now, I am really enjoying this truck. Now, I, I think it could use some gearing potential, a little bit more uh, acceleration behind it. I mean, come on, it's probably got what, a big block uh, 454 up under the hood there, or maybe, uh, well, it wouldn't be a Vortex V8, that's too new. But, whoever designed this, it did a really great job. I mean, look at the, uh, or is that, it's got a leaf spring under there, I love that. It, it looks so real. I kind of want to go somewhere and check the flex on this and unfortunately this is my first time on this map and I have no idea where to do that. Let's see if we can figure something out here. We're right there. Fuel station. Not seeing any rocky areas. I kind of want to go over to this uh, island per se and test it out on what looks like a little track. Oh, that looks interesting. Might have to run down there. And that looks promising. So how far away are we from there? Okay. So let's uh, run it right there. Actually, ah. Uh, we want to come down this trail to here, over to there, here, and back over to the garage and drive past the JK. All right. Hope we've got enough time to get over there. Now 
Now there's trails that go everywhere on this map. Like I think I could have a lot of fun just uh, with doing a multi episode. Now did I see a logging? Yeah, yeah. So we got a lumber mill, and another one there, another one there. Fuel station and a garage and a log station right over there. This could be pretty fun to uh, do some logging with. Especially if Brute releases a, I uh, want to say early 90s, late 80s uh, Chevy or GMC Dually. I loved using that truck in the original spin tires and doing some logging with it. So when Exo Froggy and I do check out the uh, map when it's completed, providing y'all put enough likes on this video, we're looking for 40. Uh, we're gonna set a, another number, and that'll see. Maybe we'll uh, do uh, an actual map completion and log the crap out of it. Whoa! Was not expecting it to turn like that. It's not a drift truck. A little bit more speed and high. Not much. Check these lower gears. Wow, she's slow. I think it, yeah, she needs a bit of a pick me up. It actually goes quicker and automatic. You just gotta deal with the gearing up and down. Yeah, guaranteed this truck will be in the collection. Oh boy. As well as uh, Frog's first gen Cummins. Probably the FJ40. Oh, this is where we want to be. Now, can this girl climb? But she has the clearance. Wow, beautiful. Oh no, oh no, oh no. And straight in the mud. Oh, she's tipping back. Alright, we're going to try and turn it. Oh no. I had a feeling that was going to happen. Oh, she might correct herself. Nope. Alright, so we're going to swap over to the JK here, try and rescue it. Uh, bring up the advance and detach trailer. Alright, rescue's on the way. Again, this is another great trailing vehicle. And I have used it quite a bit on the original spin tires. Figure out where we're at here. Okay. Oh yeah, that really slowed down and I. By it there. Now, this truck might be a, a little bit too small to be rescuing that big, big burby, you know? But let's give it a shot.
Oh yeah, we're good. Hey, I want to see this uh, flex on this suburban. And I don't think we're going to find a spot to do that. But, oh man, this is a great looking truck. Like, this is actually what I would call a farm suburban. Yeah. And, I mean, if this was mine, uh, now, if I owned a vehicle exactly like this, I, well, A, I'd be happy. Uh, the color scheme would be a little bit different. Um, I would probably do, hmm, a white and blue. That's what I would do. So keep the white, uh, maybe go a little bit more glossy and go blue on the panels. Oh no, come on, come on, stop rolling, stop rolling, stop rolling, oh no, well, she rolls nice, <laughs> alright, going to get the JK. I like how you can control the uh, drive. All right, let's do this again. In fact, there we go. Now we can look at it better. So as I was saying, I probably have a white and blue look on this. I think that would look pretty stellar or even blue and white. No, white and blue. But other than that, I would probably keep, you know, all the rest of it just how this is. Oh, on the back, I would actually have uh, the drop down tailgate and the raise up window, if you know what I mean? So a hatch and the gate. Oh, now we got some mud. This is just a mud pit. I thought this was going to be something different. Uh, bear with me uh, for just a minute here. I'm just going to skip night. This was definitely the bad spot to check out. Well, I mean, not not the bad part, but that's a great big mud pit. They should put um, XO Frogger should put some uh, water at the bottom of it. Yeah, and then he can run. You know what I'm thinking through it. Yeah that one <laughs> now a little steep that she's handling it she's handling it you know what in fact what I'm gonna do here is I want to see if this suburban could handle that great big hill we tried to climb uh, the FJ up all right so we uh, swap over to that.
And then you can go back into there. And get it. Alright, let's see how she does. She can do better or worse than the FJ. Make or break. Uh, nope. Come on. Tighten the low gear. This ain't gonna happen. And she's gonna roll down the hill. <laughs> Well, as I already said it once, she rolls really nice. <laughs> well, with that being said, boys and girls, if there is any girls watching this, I tip my hat to you. That's it for this one. You want to see more spin tires, make sure you comment down below. I want to just uh, put stuff on here that you guys want to watch. And for now, I just have a few different options out there. So... Uh, mud Mondays, which is a uh, spin tires, spin tires, mud runner. And uh, next week, we're going to go back, I think, and do some spin tires. And Tuesdays, I was going to do uh, transport Tuesdays uh, with transport fever. Skipping off on Wednesdays and then coming back in with Thursdays doing uh, American Truck and Euro Truck Simulator 2. And Fridays, uh, heading into uh, Farm Simulator 2019. So let me uh, look. Let me know what y'all think. I will put up spin tires every day of the week. If that's what y'all want to see. I really enjoy spin tires. But I also enjoy Transport Fever, American Track Simulator, Euro Track Simulator 2, and Farming Simulator 2019. So let me know what y'all want to see, and I'll do it for y'all. Sound good? Until the next one, guys. See y'all later.